Hey everybody, it's Robert here. Uh, I'm still getting over an illness. So I've been watching a few uh, YouTube videos about uh, the differences between the US and Canada. So I would actually like to do a video this time on the things that Canadians and Americans actually do share. <clears throat> and it's quite a good, a good exhaustive list, almost. Okay, let's talk about sports. I'm sure a lot of people love American football, but little did you know that Canadians and Americans share sports like hockey, and um, hockey is hugely popular in America after football. I think they the football season and the hockey seasons actually overlap. So the American football and hockey seasons overlap. So they have, there's both Canadian and American teams in the National Hockey League or NHL. And surprisingly, baseball um, in the spring and summer. Baseball from Major League Baseball. In the American League is uh, a uh, team called the Toronto Blue Jays, and so they're of course in, located in Canada. That's one of the few Canadian teams. I think there's also a Vancouver um, baseball team as well that's in the major leagues. Um, so that's another sport that Americans and Canadians share. And well, soccer is not as popular in America, but it's, it's definitely pretty popular in, in Canada. Um, yeah, uh, basically, uh, Major League Soccer is uh, in Can in the U.S. and there's a the ca the ca Canadian team. They're gonna. They're actually going to be playing a game pretty soon, versus Scotland. So, I don't know if they'll actually see how that works, but yeah. So, hockey, baseball, and soccer is what uh, Canadians and Americans do share. And. We both use the dollar as our currency. Now, of course, the U.S. dollar is different than the Canadian dollar. But looking at both currencies, the U.S. dollar is actually kind of boring compared to the Canadian dollar. I mean, there's not much color at all. It's just green. It's just green with some extra features for to to stop counterfeiters. But the Canadian currency has all different colors. Like I think the 20 Canadian dollars bill is like red versus the Canadian five dollar bill I think is either purple or yellow. I'll have to look at those again. That's another thing Canadians and Americans share. And snacks. A few snacks that um, that Canadians and Americans share, and that's Lay's potato chips. Now, the, also they have their kind of their own version, which is Hare's potato chips. But there is a Lay's flavor that is ketchup flavor. Never tried it. I don't know if I should. And there's a lot of others too. Also, n some Nestle bars like Nestle's Cookie Crunch in Canada, which is a ha which also happens to be sold in Publix in the U.S. I think I think I've actually did a taste test with with that one. I'll have to look for it. Well, and and Canadians and Americans share the similar music. Um, did you know that Justin Bieber is from Canada? 
and he is very popular not only in Canada but in the US. So that, that's that's one artist. <clears throat> and of course Taylor Swift is pretty popular in Canada as well as America, but Taylor Swift of course is American. Okay, that's four things. Lastly, holidays. So did you know that Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving just like American? Except the Canadian Thanksgiving is the second Monday in October, while the U.S. has their Thanksgiving the fourth Thursday in November, basically the last Thursday in November. So that's one. Of course, Labor Day is the same day, and the only really difference is the spelling. Canadians spell it L-A-B-O-U-R, while Americans will drop the U and just say L-A-B-O-R. So Labor Day, same day in both countries. And Black Friday is another one. Well, you can also count Christmas as the same day. That's that's pretty much given. As Canada and America share the same culture. Well, similar culture. And yes, ca Canadians have native tribes as well. There's the First Nations, the Inuit, and there's one more native, native tribe. Well, in the U.S., we also have Inuit tribe in Alaska, and then we have uh, Polynesian tribes, and of course the Navajo, the Iroquois, the Creek, the Seminole, the Chickasaw tribe, which is actually in the Alabama, Florida region, and the Hopi tribe. Fun fact. The Navajo tribe actually, in Arizona, they actually observe daylight savings time with the rest of America, while Arizona and the Hopi tribe do not. Fun fact. So Black Friday is another holiday that Canadians and Americans share, however they're on different days. Black Friday is in the U.S. is the day after Thanksgiving, and that's where all the crowds go in and get all the best deals, and they do all their cat fights and stuff. So, of course, people do horrible things just to get that good product at a certain price. I don't know why it's so limited at a certain price. It doesn't make sense to me at all. That's why I hardly ever go shopping on Black Friday. A couple years ago, I actually worked on Black Friday at a retail store. That was my one day in retail. Pretty hectic. <clears throat> but in Canada, Black Friday is Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. And there, there are still the same lines, but there is no fighting. Everybody is civilized for their deals. So, that's all the things I have for now for all the things that Canadians and Americans share. Have any questions or comments? Come, just put your comments down below. And, hope I get better soon. I should, I should be getting better in the next week. Or less, so. And, of course, my volleyball season is going on and so far one win one loss well i will see you later and then in the next video i'll probably be reviewing a tablet that i recently bought i'll be doing that soon take care and goodbye